Oh, uh, we're going so UGRO uh, versus Sprite Mix. Sprite Mix from North Carolina. Like most North Carolina people, rock, rock and K group. Yep. That's a very, I feel like, southern United States, southeastern United States kind of thing. I don't think there was, it, like, there was, might have been one person in, in North Carolina that did not play K group back in yeah, the day. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's that's also the Florida thing. Uh, okay. I'll stream real, real fast and let me know everything yeah. is good on the audio and video. Yeah. Thank you, guys. So, you are with P. Joe, uh, P. Terry, and P. Ryu. Nice guard break, but I feel like there was a lot more damage to be had there. A lot left a lot on the table. Let's find Cammy though, with meter, and we all know... Oh, nice uppercut there. Yep. Stuffing an attempt at getting in. Has meter now, though. No more K group. Man, so it is gone. Joe's significantly less scared of Cammy uh, now with no more. No, no more meter. Although, like, I'm pretty sure Cammy just... Win, but you know that's that's fine. Yeah, I don't understand why Cammy didn't do any of that winning part. No. That matchup is not exactly what I would call yeah. great. Good. Joe also I, hasn't been really showing off if he knows how to parry a whole lot of stuff. Although he may just be using the groove primarily for stashing meter. Yeah. So first match the of the features. day. This is the only like sort of uh, like quarter quarter final uh, round of 16 match we have in this particular pool. Got it. So that's why you get the K Guile sighting. Uh, as a professor, I've never really seen K Guile. Oh, that works. I, I guess that's why you use that's K Guile. That's why you play K Guile because K, K Guile. 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 K Guile. Guile. Because when people when people decide that they're gonna wake up on top of you, push your buttons, you go ready, sit. Go shoot, shoot. All right, so uh, P Wait, Terry. Wait, hold on. Is that Terry Bogard? Terry Bogard, literally the like the eighth P group player that plays Terry. I don't understand why every P group P group player has to play freaking Terry Bogard. Is that Ryu at the end? Uh, yeah, he's got P, he's got P Ryu on on the thing. I have, I'll go, so I'll go Joe, off on this. So Joe Terry Ryu? Yeah. Oh, he shoot. P group players really want to like double down on the the low tier. I see. They can't just do play P group. They also have to play P group with terrible characters. Okay. All right. But he's rocking it. Like he's doing all right. Like you know. That was a nice crack shot. Very good anti air crack shot. You never see that. And it was like nicely spaced. He yeah. waited for the button to come out so he could clip it with the beginning of the crack. That was like, that was like, like a it was CBS actually, one crack shot. Yeah, it was like some. This yeah. guy got some art to it. Yeah, sprite mix with Casey Scott in the back. Casey Scott, uh, always you know, pretty much a, a threat. Always, always humongous. Yeah. Are you okay? What's the whoa? I mean, he is okay. That didn't do a yeah. whole lot of damage. It doesn't. That's kind of some of the problem with P Terry. Oh, we get wow. parries now. Wow. Okay. So Yujiro right now, nice pressure. Oh, stun. nice stun. No jump in. Oh, crack shoot. I yeah, that looks severely more. not great. <laughs> nice sweep. We just do those raw. The sweep is very <laughs> fast, actually. It's kind of hard to deal with. It's probably Terry's best butt net range. Yo, okay, so Sagan about to be completely out of guard. Saga Ooh. Oh, my God, okay. The God. You ever, you ever been Tiger uppercut for no reason before? <laughs> All the time. Although, like, I love like when you have to do it randomly. You have, you pretty much have to do the jab or the strong because they only hit once. Yep. Oh, we got we we got we're throwing tigers here. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, Rio's already in trouble. I know it doesn't seem that way, but this <laughs> matchup's not very good. It's, it's it's not, but I mean, people are throwing fireballs at each Ooh. other. Oh. Okay. This matchup is really not very good. Okay, but now it's fine. Oh, oh now it's terrible. Now the matchup sucks. Uh, oh my god, standing medium kick. Uh, right. Yujiro takes the first one. So like things things about that matchup that you probably shouldn't take a whole lot away from CBS2. They were throwing fireballs at each other. That's not good. No. Um in, in K Groove, you're giving them life free JDs. Yeah. Uh, you're giving them life and rage meter. In P Groove, you're giving them meter. Uh, they're just not good. Yeah, but you know what? He was like, you know what? I'll do it. Yeah. All right. Uh, he's thinking a lot about his characters, even though he needs to pick the same ones. There you go. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Keep 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 it up. So yeah, P Terry. I, I I think I can count like four P Terrys that I know of, and really, there's not more than like 70 people that still play this game in America. And you can count four of them, so that's yeah, a surprising four P amount. Terrys. I think maybe that's maybe 80% of P group players play Terry. So CGS, not exactly again. Kimmy Giles that's Scott. Me, yeah, that I was expecting to see at Combo Breaker. It's fine. It's the first round. Uh, that was a completely raw, Sweet. slow as dirt jump in roundhouse that Joe looked at and went, man, that was really pretty. <laughs> we just saw a spin fist. Okay. Yeah, that 
first round of the combo breaker. That's what you expect to see. <laughs> first round of combo breaker. By the way, just to let let you know, I think the winner of this play is Nakanishi. So, oh, you know, this okay. is the like the the 16 versus 15 oh. seed so, in the tournament. Yeah. So, um, Rambling State versus like Miami of Ohio, of Pennsylvania, of Indiana. Basically. Ooh. Okay, that was a, okay. That's <laughs> these are things that are happening right now. Nice uppercut here by Joe. Joe putting in some pressure with a roundhouse gets stuff. Nice uppercut. Tiger Ooh. kick again. Hello? This is bullying. Yeah, I mean, he's like, I'm just going to roundhouse tiger kick on your wake up. Tiger kick. Tiger kick. I want some sex kick. Sexy kick. Let's go. Nice slide here. Yeah. Oh, this is slide. Okay. We let those rip. No, he has two fireballs. That's the problem. Yeah. yeah. That, that's why you don't Sonic boom him that much. Yeah. Okay, now medium. You can. Okay, okay, you should taunt. You need to taunt. Okay, that works. Uh, that works. There you go. And jumping short, two crouching medium punches to seal the round. Just yeah. knocking on the doors. Just does it. Look, he's showing those two American flags for you. There you go. It's like, let me in. Yeah. The real show is the gun show all along. Yep. All right, here we go. Pete Terry. Get that nice air Perry. Any air Perry. Maybe that's why the Perry people play Terry. Because they just want to say, I'm Perry and Terry. You need to stop. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Harry and Terry. Harry and Terry. Okay. Oh, oh, Lord, Power Gazer. Yo, we got three of them. Oh, that's another thing that sometimes I notice about P Group buyers. Despite how long it takes for that P Group bar to, to build, it doesn't stay very long. They like to let it rip. Yeah. <laughs> you would think they're playing K Group. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I feel like the philosophy is like if I have all this meter and I hold on to it, what good does it do for me? Yeah. Holy crap, that is some good Terry pressure right now. Yeah, Perry and Terry. Yujiro right now. I'm just gonna just ignore when you say that. <laughs> no longer gonna acknowledge his existence. Nice throw here. Damn, that's the classic. Yeah, just power wave into burn knuckle. Burn knuckle. Okay, okay goodbye. So that's why you don't press buttons against uh, glowing red Against characters. angry Sagat. Yeah. The angrier he is, the less buttons you should push. Right now, he's nice and friendly, you know. Yeah. It's a friendly match. Okay, hello. <laughs> so that's why Ryu doesn't do well in this fight. Yeah. It's like, oh, you tried to throw a fireball, but what if I put my fist in your face? Yeah, see, this is the thing. If every time he wanted to throw a tiger, if you just hit Fierce instead, yeah. it would work out better for him. Yeah, like this matchup, dude, there's no science to this matchup. Just. Yeah. Okay, that's adorable. So that's because the second, that worked. That's the second just do it. P Groove Super in that in that game. All right, Yujiro, <sighs> victorious, victorious, and moves on. Say what you will. It was entertaining. I, it was. Uh, I was. Uh, yes. I was entertained. I was Are entertained. You not entertained. Entertaining is the word that I'm going to use for that one. That was. He did like Hurricane. He did like Shinku Tatsumaki. Yeah. Just do it, it just did the thing. Yeah. It chipped him out super well. And then the response from Sagat was close standing fierce punch tiger shot. Uh, um, okay. I, uh, uh, All right, cool. Video games. Anyways, yeah. for our so, next match. Yeah, we uh, looks like I, I, I recognize one of them uh, is Dine. Uh, also a P Groove player. Yep. Also plays Terry. Okay. Yeah, There's Pete. a lot of Terry. Perry and Terry. Perry and Terry. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Now I'm it's doing gonna it. It's going to be a thing. Now I'm doing it's it. It's going to be a thing. Uh, I I'm not, I don't recognize the person he's playing. So we'll, we'll, we'll go into that. So just kind of like going through about the general CBS2 group. CBS2 I, heard, two is, I heard some stuff about this bracket today, this weekend. Yeah? I heard that. I heard someone was really upset. Oh, this is not in this bracket. I mean, I we'll get to that in a minute. I was okay. just going to talk, talk to General about CBS2 for a second. All right, just, just hit me with some CBS2 stuff. CBS2 knowledge. All right, so basically there are six grooves in the game. This yep. is definitely the most complicated game Capcom's ever made. Six grooves. Uh, each one has strengths and weaknesses based off different games in yep. Capcom and SNK series. Yep, we got three um, for Capcom and three for SNK. That's yes. why CAP, SNK. Yes, so um, this, the basic uh, stylings is that Capcom is the, like, C groove is the alpha groove. Yep. A groove is sort of the alpha custom groove. So yeah. if you take custom out of alpha and you basically has its own thing. P groove yep. is the third strike groove. You got parry. Yep. Um, and so, and then you get over to the SNK side. The S Groove is basically I think KOF, KOF 94 and 94. 95. In fact, yeah. I know I think I know these games oh, quite a bit. KOF? So we'll go yeah. So 
for the SNK group, we have S, which takes a little bit more from the KOF 94 and 95, which has dodging in place, yep. and also charges meter by holding buttons down, uh -huh. which used to be ABC in this game. It's uh, basically uh, both fuses. Yep. And you can charge. Um, there are some cool things about S group, but for the most part, it's not particularly strong. But for N group, we have, which is called the advanced group from KOF 98. KOF 98, which was introduced in KOF 97. Yep. And uh, there you can stash meter, sort of like C group. But you get it in like little icons, and there's only level one supers and level three supers. And you pop. Yeah, you pop, and then you don't stop. Yep. And in K Groove, K Groove is a mash together of Samurai Showdown and Garrow Mark of the Wolves. It has Rage Meter, it has Just Defense. Yes. All of them in the SNK Grooves all have running, and the uh, Capcom jumping. Grooves, and all the Capcom Grooves have dashing. Um, yes. But some of the Capcom Grooves, I believe, P Groove has uh, low jump. Yeah, because there is sort of a. But I think that was trying to say that universal overhead was equal yeah, to Yeah, they gave him something that was kind of like universal overhead. Yeah. Anyways, we're, so we're on P on P action. Yeah, oh, I wasn't wait. expecting that. Yeah, I actually don't see a Terry on the screen. I'm actually quite concerned. Yep. And I'm actually a big fan of PKO. PKO is like a really, really strong P character um, because a good parry on a good move leads into confirm into Rekka's, and that hurts, and it adds up quick. Yes. So I will say, I give the seal of approval to... So I'm guessing it is Black Lion Oro. Yeah. Black Lion Oro. Yeah. I'm gonna get a seal approved to his team. Those are all good P characters. Excellent P characters. And then Dyne has got Ryu, which okay. Blanca, very okay, but how in the back. Yep. That's another P character that pops up a lot, is Haomaru. I don't see a whole lot of Haomaru normally. There's a reason. Well, yeah, but I see some K Haomaru, especially in Miami, where of all people, and you may recognize his name, Flocker. Oh yeah. Huge proponent. Uh, also, Justin Wong, huge proponents of Palmaru, but he plays him in Ape? Yeah, he plays him as a troll. Because he has a very easy uh, combo, and also it's Justin, and Justin has very good footsies. So, okay. Yeah. So we're going to talk about the match a little bit. Just do it super? Yes. Oh, that's Just low do it safe. super? Yep, just do it super. Oh, that's not good. Crouching Fierce. Now, you may know that uh, both Sagat and Blanca, very strong Crouching Fierce punch runs. Yeah, Art. Also, our top tier. I would say that Sagat is a much better character in P Groove because he's not a charge character. Charge characters in P Groove, eh, not the best mix. Yeah, they don't. They suffer a little bit from having to tap a direction that's not charge. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh Ooh. Nice stuff here right now from Halmar. Yeah. Jabs. Jabs from Halmar are actually extraordinarily annoying because they have a really nice hitbox on them, mm -hmm. and they just stop all your momentum. And that little low into the flip punch, I mean the flip slash, is That's not remotely a combo or anything, but they do it because people don't know what to do about it. It's, it's day one Halmar. Uh, and that's pretty much as far as it's, he's ever gotten. It, it's like, yeah, it's like day, it's like year 20 Halmar, and we're still yeah. on it. Nice Ooh. parrying into Fear Slash. Lots that's the damage. close slash. It does, doesn't do as much damage yeah, as the big Yeah, it's not slash. as violent, but it's pretty violent. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a free super. Yep, but, and for not, and for respecting it too much, also, you get to lose a ton of guard meter. Oh. Black Lion Aura was like, yeah, that's all nice and all, but what if I throw you and stay on top of you because so, you're Halmar? So what I liked about that, so, Basically, he was doing the sort of the close roundhouse, which is super jump cancelable. Actually, very rare in this game. Um, and strike. basically, it's just like in third strike, where you do that move, and if you parry it, you super jump cancel, and you're kind of out of harm's way. Yep. And so he's like, "Okay, I dare you to parry me. I'm gonna do this." So that was actually pretty interesting for Black Lion Oro there. Um, yeah, showed some good stuff. We're going into game two. Nice anti-air attempt, but parry into jumping fierce, down fierce, nothing. Yeah. A little bit of pressure. Kill pressure very strong. He tried a different anti-air this time. Maybe he's like, maybe this will be more safe. Nope. Yeah. Nope, nope, still parried. Nice pressure here from Ryu. Hey, Ryu, not something yep. I see very often. Very good so, parries against the anti-airs. So someone needs to tell Black Lion Oro that Kyo does have a DP. Yeah, but I feel like it's CBS2 and a lot of people, when they can get away with a one-button anti-air, they will do it until that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One-button air is great in CBS2, not against B-group characters. No, definitely not. All right. Okay, jumping roundhouse. There you go. So you notice this uppercut. I did another one-button anti-air, though. He went for a standing roundhouse. Yeah, nice pokes. Yeah. Another good standing roundhouse there. Those are good sometimes because you catch them a lot, a lot before they're trying to parry. That's the good anti-air right there. Yeah. Nice jump back uh, roundhouse. It was a low hop, very hard to deal with, that kind of distance. Oh, 
dying with a huge opportunity just to kind of let it go. All right, Sagat basically takes care of Ryu and evens up this match. So we got both with full stocks as trooper. They're both full life. And Blanca uh, um, had a tough time last time. He also just started with slow Blanca ball the hit. That yep. was the part that surprised me. Made the slow Blanca ball not that much. Ooh, that's, oh, okay. That, that's, that's not a good punish there. Nice parry there on the uppercut. Kind of crazy stuff going on. So this is kind of a, an issue sometimes with Blanca is that it's actually kind of, his combos are not uh, super beginner friendly. You have to do like one hit, one frame wins. Yep. What, like jumping round house, crouching jab, I mean crouching short, short standing short jab. Short stand jab, super. It's pretty much the thing you need to be able to do. Yep. There's lots of links. Yeah. Can be difficult to do. Sagat right now, very low guard bar, but he takes a oh, whole bunch of Oh, that's a free super. Attack. Ooh. Missed Maybe that. he wants to kind of hang on to super. Oh, gets away. Somebody doesn't want to hang on to their super. Ooh. Guard break. Oh, oh that's all he got on it. Yeah. Nice. I and thought the, the uppercut was actually going to go there, but he didn't do medium punch. He went probably fierce. Yeah. Not enough in bowl. Nope. Blanca's leg's too long. Okay. The, Very the, good reaction there. That low roundhouse sweep is always good for anti-air. Yep. Especially against that move. Yeah, this Chun is a sort of a mishmash of Third Strike Chun and Alpha Chun. Like, she gets a lot of her animations from Third Strike, but she has that low roundhouse from Alpha that anti-airs. Yep as well as the jump short that crosses up. Yeah, also the crouching fierce is not really like the third strike one, right? It's yeah. more like its own thing. Yeah. Where it's she like twists and actually punches you. It's very yeah. nice. And nice then, neck breaker is going on here. Oh, that doesn't, yeah, that does not work against, oh, that was super That super. should have been, yeah. Dying trying to tie this up. Chun-Li with very, very, very oh. little guard meter left. Oh, misses the combo. Yep. And normally, while well, against bigger characters, that spinning bird kick would have worked. And it would have kept him a block stun forever. It doesn't really work against Halamaru, who a little bit shorter. Black so, Lion Aura, though. Yeah. I mean, I I, I, I like his team. Um, I like, basically, his, his play style. He drops some combos there in the end. And, like, so, Pichon is not Optimal Chun. Optimal Chun is C or N. But if you're committed to being a P group player, Chun Li does bring some things to the table. Yep. Um, that once you are stocked um, with that level three, you can you know you know get any parry into stand strong level three is a huge threat. Yes, like I mean that's kind of what makes her scary in third strike too. If you think about it, it's that she gets so much out of one parry yep. kill you. And in this game in P group, she also has like. Very, very, very good options out of parry. Now that's kind of what makes P-Groove a good pick or the kind of team you want to build around P-Groove is if I get a parry right here and you're kind of close to me, how good is my punish? Exactly. That's why kill, very strong because it's always one of these. Yep. Bodega. And Take him the, to the bodega. The, yep. The up, the up kicks. Yep. Or and yeah, you could do uh, crouchy medium, crouchy medium. Uh, light up kicks, I think. It's a super if you have it. Medium up kicks. Medium up kicks. Oh yeah, because the ones it that does link out of medium punches. That's correct. Yes. So the if you're really really close, you get the medium up kicks into whatever jungle you want. Yep. The light up kicks. That's the end of the combo. Unless you have, unless you have, super. Yeah. Check it out. Oh yeah. Yeah. It does hit. Because you can do hit. short short light. light up kicks. Okay. It's super. a real combo. Yeah. yeah. But if you do the medium, you can do. You'd rather do medium up kicks. Does more damage. Yeah. Also, you can end it in uh, in the three kicks, which is a hard knockdown. You get to like do like a meaty one of these. Yeah, doesn't so isn't the 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 B and B like the three up kicks and then two up kicks then flame super? Yes. Yeah. So that is the, that is the hot B and B if you can if you can do it, which most people I think can. I see Patrick Miller sitting down to play. That's right. And I do not recognize the other gentleman from here, the Rising Dragon. Okay. The Rising Dragon. Uh, this, this butt check. Oh, I know him. Never mind. I recognize him. I just oh. didn't see him at this angle. I, I wonder if he likes dragon punches. Maybe. Maybe, Maybe there's a mix-up. Maybe the fact that he picked Honda is kind of like a, a way to hide the fact that he's about to pick Ken and Shoryuken at least 40 times in one match. Maybe. Maybe. Now, so Pat loves CBS2 so much that his shirt says true love making. Yes. That's great. Pat's from uh, Northern California. Northern yep. Yeah. I used to be king of NorCal. Sure. I went to the NorCal tournament. I won all the tournaments. There you go. I was the king for like a month. 
So anyway. Have, uh, oh man. This right, is well. this is interesting. The Rising Dragon picked all the characters that were afraid of dragon punches. <laughs> Maybe that's the secret. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick Miller picking Athena. Athena like a very classic Patrick Miller pick. Uh, Athena Nakaru Sagat very much seems like a feeling out the waters kind of team. Yeah. And uh, Athena's a very good character to feel the waters out with. Because a lot of uh, really good standing me understanding medium punch as an anti-air. Cycle Ball is extraordinarily annoying to deal with either by hearing it, by seeing <laughs> it. Everything about it is frustrating. Yeah. And Down Fierce is a cheap button. Yeah, it's actually one of the better Down Fierces in the game. Yes. Also, it's like the terror of Kami. Yeah. If you, if you have trouble with Kami, press Down Fierce against it. Look at that standing medium, medium punch. Ooh, Sorry. That hurts. All right, Rising Dragon, just do the super yeah, just cool do the screen. Super. I mean, now he's close, you know? I mean, he is in. Yeah. There's something to be said about that nice standing sweep. Okay. So let me tell you something about what I just saw. If that was Honda in, like, any roll groove, that match would have gone very different. Yeah, because you can 360. No, RC, RC through all those fireballs. Yeah. RC headbutt, RC Ochio. A lot of RC. Well, even then, though, right? Like, you're K-Groove, right? Why are you treating these fireballs like a threat? Yeah, just just JD. JD. Yeah. Well, because people, people for some reason, in K-Groove, like, the spirit of K-Groove demands that you fight at all times. Yeah. That's just how it works. Even if you shouldn't, the spirit of K-Groove demands that you fight. If you had landed into that fireball, we'd have been very upset, also very amused. Yeah. Ooh, wow. the low how fierce. many down fierces are we going to see here? Oh, OK, he's in. Yeah, OK. Got to grab. Grabs are good. Patrick Miller telling uh, Zangief to just stay away. Yeah. Two hands. Please stay away. Psycho Ball! Psycho Ball! Now, uh, Nakuru, another really frustrating, small, fast character. Yeah. Actually, really good in K-Groove. She pretty much has, she has like, the best low jump game in the, yep. in the game. Um, she's one of the very few characters that off a of low jump can confirm into her jab. Yes, uh, because that's very, that's actually almost non-existent. Yeah. Uh, because there is a recovery on low jumps that people don't know about. And she has almost none. Yeah. And her jab is crazy fast. Yeah, it's two frames. Um, that was so cheap. Yeah. <laughs> nice down Pierce. One of the things about sort of Nako in this game is like she she has all the same tools that CVS1 Nakaruru did. Maybe the bird is significantly nerfed and less cheap, but like all the buttons are the same and just as good. It's just her damage is like probably 40% less. Yeah. And. Uh, Part of what made her so scary in CBS One was that she had all these really fast, frustrating buttons, and also they hurt like hell. Yeah, like basically everything that's a medium in this game uh, was a fierce in CBS One and, yeah. and did did appropriate damage. It's oh. a lot of pressure right now from uh, Pat on the Rising Dragon, just yeah. simply not letting him think. Those walking jabs are plus like eight, I think. So it gives you actually time to walk up and do another one. Oh, and be okay. Safe. He turned the butter while he was blocking. Yeah. Ooh, so much damage. He could, uh, he's going to do probably a uh, throw or sweep into super. Or he's just going to let. Oh, my. Oh, sure. I'll take the free life. <laughs> Patrick laughing the entire uh, time. Yeah. That super is so bad in this game. Right in right now, turning the butter. Hoping for something. Hoping for anything. Oh. All right. Flame breath. We'll do it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the story of Nako. She could, like, in this game, she can hit you, like, a thousand times, and then somebody just does a super, and then she loses all of her life. Yep. Okay, so he challenged the ready go with a crouching fierce. I don't know how about that, but throws him in back into the corner, like, goodbye. Sagat Chuck. Yep. Pat the flip, flipped him. There you go. So, Patrick Miller up, 1 0 over the Rising Dragon. So, Pat the flip, I mean, is, is, he, a, is he a gymnast? Does he, does he like to do acrobatics? He's a writer. Okay. Uh, and he does uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So he does do flips? Yeah, sometimes. You know, some judo. But I would say that uh, his better half is the one that does, that focuses more on the judo. She okay. really does enjoy judo. Shout out to Irene. I always like to, to really like look at the, 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 the names and be like, okay, why'd you pick that one? Right. Well, he's Filipino. Oh, that, that. And that. he wanted to reclaim yeah. it. Okay. It's like, it's mine now. That's good. Yep. Okay, okay, so Rising Dragon all of a sudden. Uh, more aggressive. Yeah, playing with a little more, I don't want to say confidence, but more, doing more of the right things. Good headbutts when he thinks that the headbutts are going to land. 
Oh, uh, turning a lot of the butter. Maybe he needs to calm down a little bit on the turn. That's gonna hurt. Ow. It's gonna hurt eventually, but it'll hurt. So many hits. Yep. So many hits. Like any bajillion. Any bajillion. Uh, Just hits for days. So this matchup last time we saw was actually extraordinarily frustrating because that down fierce Zangief didn't really have a whole lot of options no, he for it. That stand. This is fierce, right? This yeah, that's like a close elbow, fierce one. Yeah. Close fierce is so crazy because yeah. it stuffs so many things. Comes out so quick too. You wish like sometimes there was like sort of ability to um, do proximity normals. Yeah. That's in so much life. Yeah, it's like jab, SPD, and you're almost dead. Yeah. Nice down fierce to anti -air. deal with anti airs. It does everything. <laughs> and by the way, I, I want you to pay a little bit of attention to the rising dragon anytime you see him jump. Because just look at his hand. You see it? Yeah, I saw it. What the butter oh, was it? thoroughly turned. <laughs> spin to win, baby. There you go. Spin to win. You don't call him the Red Cyclone for nothing. Wax on, wax on. Here you right, go. Nakaru. Jumping. She actually landed the jumping roundhouse so high that she still got punished by uh, Spinning Larian. Yeah. Jesus. I don't even think. I think that's the merit. Does Larian have a bit of I don't know. I think it has some. I just think it depends on like what part of the body. Oh! oh scoops. The Russian skies are protected. Okay, and so is Nakaru, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah but she lost 50%. A Pyrrhic victory. Yeah, if there was ever one. All right, Raiden coming in. Right, yeah. I mean, right in last time, you know, a lot of not much, not much. Oh, Ooh, that, that not should have been hella punished. There you go. Managed to get him to spend the uh, or to lose a K group. Ooh. Oh, that was a uh, misinput. Yeah, that Nakaru has those. Um, Pat looked a little surprised that he missed the input. Yeah. So Sagat versus Raiden. This this match is really really terrible. Yep. Um, uh, Raiden, one of the characters that cannot duck, Sagat stand fierce, which uh, is a bad look in case you've ever done it. Jab jab low forward. That's a confirm. That is. Confirmed. All right, Pat's put moving on. That is just, that character is so wild. Like, but Sagat? Sagat has too many things if you think about it. The only good thing about Jab Jab Low Medium is, uh, like, low forward, is that it doesn't work against smaller characters. Yes. Because if it worked against the whole cast, he would easily be, like, by far the best character. Instead, he's just, like, the best character. No, he's, like, arguably the best character. Okay. Because Sagat, because Blanca exists. Yeah. You know, Cami exists. Sure. Uh, and, and, and Sagat, you know, really good, but you could, like, talk about it. You and I could have a conversation about who the best character is. Hold up. Uh-oh. We're getting our international star. Get oh. Nakanishi. Nakanishi? Is on the street. Oh, buddy. Nakanishi looking pretty prepared, you know. Yeah. To stick out. Um, you know, took, takes a, taking a break from Vampire Savior to come on the stream. Looking young and effervescent, as usual. Yeah. Um, you know, thanks for like all the like international players that come out, and especially ones that come out for you know games like this. Like you know, they're not coming out for the money. This is not like a super, super huge sponsored event or whatever. They're coming out for love of the game. Yeah, you gotta respect that. So. I really appreciate it. I mean, there is an argument to be made that uh, Boss shows up to tournaments because he wants to be able to travel for free. But uh, there's no way he makes enough money winning the CBS2 tournament to pay for his plane ticket. You'd be surprised. I think he's got a hookup, dude. I think he's got a hookup on the plane tickets because, boy, does he travel to a lot of American CBS2 tournaments, and I'm glad to see him. Shoutouts to you, boss, wherever you are. We miss you here, dude. You should have hung, hung out. I need some strong zero. We need some strong zero. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a boss fan, but I appreciate the uh, chance to get beaten at down by a different Japanese player. Yeah, I like the, the, the I get to get uh, messed up by somebody else for once. I'm yeah. not in the bracket, unfortunately. I am. 
I'm playing tomorrow. I think I'm still allowed to emergency register, but I don't think so because the bracket has officially started. Yeah. I'm in uh, Justin's pool. Uh, you, you can do it. Yeah. You can get out of there. I, I, I should actually try to like see if somebody can move me into another pool where there's been some... some uh, I hear there's been some people who have withdrawn themselves from the tournament. Yeah, uh, notorious uh, and famous S-Crew uh, player. Apparently... Just didn't want to play. Anymore. Yeah, I just didn't want to play. Uh, I'm a little upset. I'm actually a lot of upset about it. I'm very, I'm very, very annoyed. I, I thought he was the, the the number one player in America. I don't know. I just, I wanted to see, I wanted to see him play. I wanted to see some Escrow. I want to talk about Escrow on stream. Am I gonna get a chance to do it? Other there, than right there now, a, there is an Escrow player in, in, the, in, I think, in this bracket. Is it the guy that beat me up last year? Might have been Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still mad about it. All right. Because I scraped them really bad the first game. I kind of lost the second game. All and right. then the S group gets Enough of your salt. Let's concentrate on the this match. No. Match. We got Should Team we Choi here. Okay, but only because you insist. Also, yes, that is Team Choi. Yeah. That is specifically Team John Choi. Yeah. But not piloted by John Choi, but by one Nakanishi. Yeah. See Guile, see Ken, see Sagat against P. Joe Terry Reed. Yes. And right now, you know, Yujiro doing a pretty good job of holding his own. Yeah. Nice spacing though here by Nakanishi. Very good with the forward step kicks. Oh, those are RC booms. Yep. You can tell when you just by listening to the audio cue. Yep. Uh oh. Nice. Oh, stun. And it's gonna oh. be a lot of damage. Oh, he drops it, chucks him anyway. No matter what happens, he's gonna die. Yeah. Even you know, if he got the parry. He, he, he dropped the combo, but at the same time. You're okay with that result and the fact that he has meter. Yeah, well, now Nakanishi is stocked all the way up. Jab, jab, stand yep. medium punch. Not really a combo. They didn't combo them, so. Yeah, it's just more of a, um, a string. Yeah. Depending on how close you are, though, it does combo. And if you, you know, get the timing right. But even then, as as its utility as a string is, yes, just as good. Ooh. Nice parry there on the down medium. Nice parry on the boom. Gets anti-air. Ooh, nothing doing afterwards. No punish, still just hanging on to the meter. Ooh, That's a lot of sweeps. Oh, oh got caught pushing button, somersault. Yeah. The level two. That's a very good level two because uh, it is safe. Uh, it might be like negative three, but it's pretty It's pretty good. And I think uh, after you do the, the flash kick at the end, it's roughly almost a level, level three, three damage. damage. Yeah. yeah, it's very, very meter efficient as far as damage to, to meter ratio, so. You got Guile, he's, he's made short work of the first two characters from Yujiro. Yep. Now it's Ryu's turn. Sonic Boo. Sonic Kabir. Sonic Kabir. You got you gotta like put more of your Burr. more of your fake. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You gotta put more of the fake America in it. Sonic Kabir. Oh, oh. Misses it. There you go. Oh, okay, raw uppercut, you're gonna pay for that. Connects. You paid so much life for the yeah. privilege of doing that jab uppercut. So a little bit about the, at that distance when you do the crossfire bits, you do sacrifice some damage because the first one whiffs. Uh, but he I didn't want to hurt it. like hell. Yeah. He didn't want to burn the whole level three on Sonic Hurricane. Nope. And I respect that. Yeah. Nice uh, short stand, short monkeys. Take up the punch town. Thinking about what to do here. Eating a point blank red fireball, which is a knockdown. Yep. Nice throw there. This is rare Shoto battle in CBS2. Not just that, but also oh. a really good job of putting pressure on by Yujiro. Yujiro doing pretty good work. Did, did you see that, viewers? Hero canceled that. Yep. It went through the fireball. Wow. Oh, Shoryuken up. Pop. Oh, I like Shin it. Shoryuken, that's the good combo. Yeah. Does way more damage. Oh, nice cross up nice. there from Nakanishi. Let me tell you, that looked good. That looked good. Like, whiffs, whiffs the, the, the kick. The funky kick, you actually get a little bit of meter for that. Yep. The, the, the light DP into the Shinruken. I'm kissing my fingertips right now. Wow. Se magnifique. Se magnifique. Yeah. So now, I'm gonna, let's see if Yujiro has any backup plans other than the same team. I mean... Oh, he, um, yes. The answer is yes. Oh, he's the answer to, is the team got crazier. <laughs> he's going to peak Eve. He went to the big man. Uh, Nakanishi's like, uh... I really, I really hope he puts Peaky versus, like, Sagat. Well, I mean, no, no, Peaky... No, that doesn't even work either, because when you're with Geep against Sagat, you need the roll cancel Lariat. Yes. All right, here we go. Geep versus... Oh, he's starting Ken. 
He put different. Guy on last. Um, so I think he just probably wants to work different characters this time. Yep. This is like this is what you do in the arcade. You want to like you know warm up a little bit. Yep. Nice step kick there too. Oh. So, that was a weird interaction. Sure you can. Yep. Okay. Damn that. Take you for. Did way less than I thought it would. You can't Superman punch over the fireballs. Nice crouching fierce there. Yujiro making this a little bit more even than it was at first. Yeah, I mean, it's not a, too bad of a round from Yujiro. Uh, yeah, take take that as a W. It'll be a W if he manages to do short work here with Ken, but uh -uh. with an early jump like that, I don't know. No blocking there on the shorts. Feel like he wanted to parry instead of okay. just taking the guaranteed stuff. All of a sudden, Nakanishi commandingly in the lead. Ooh. Short, 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 short. Didn't have enough time for Buster Wolf there. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, he did the big rising tackle. Rising tacos, dude. Rising tacos. Rising tacos. I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. I don't think I'm eating today. Yeah, I need Culver's or something. Anyways, here we go. Yujiro versus Nakanishi's Sagat right in the middle. Whoa, okay. Yeah, R2 Sagat. He wanted to get get some reps in, as I was saying. Yep, nice standing jab. Uh, I think Terry's actually tall enough that he has to block them yes. even crouching, right? Yeah. He, oh, hey, are you are okay? You okay? <laughs> Sagat is. <laughs> doesn't do any damage. Uh, doesn't really finish that combo. I don't wow. know if he wanted to or not. Uh, well, Terry wanted to do something, and then he got promptly roundhoused in the mouth for his efforts. He's like, no, nope, stop that. Stop Here's that. my like, Ryu versus Sagat matchup is whack attack. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but he's like, oh, you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, he's doing well right now. If Yujiro manages to take out the Sagat here with enough life, he could threaten to win the round against Guile. But can't be taking these these shots for free. Oh, that was kind of weird. Oh, oh okay. Big damage. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh. Basically, Tiger Knee Hurricane kicking us all in the corner, but now he's back into the corner, feeling pressure. Nice, Fierce. Fierce all over the place. Oh, got caught thinking about something and ate a fireball hit. to the mouth. Got hit with some Fiercest a little bit. It's so like, like, he thought about doing something, and it was just like, how do you feel about this? Yeah, so here's the thing. Hit uh, Like In that particular thing, you could see that he was trying to shake some rust off. Yeah. Uh, he wanted to get some a little bit of work in with most of his characters. Um, and, you know, he missed some combos. Whether or not he let them go purposely or yeah. he dropped them, um, he should probably drop. Um, and... But it's still a dominating performance. Yeah. Like, either one, uh, he didn't get down to the last ratio. Uh, I mean, uh, to be fair, though, Yujiro now, even though he's in losers, like, we've got to see a little bit more of his characters, and now we have a good idea of the kind of player he he's is. He's got that Pete, Gre Pete Zangief in his pocket. That Pete Geef was not bad. Like, yes. he wasn't, I wasn't out here like, oh, my God, look at this Pete Geef. But I was actually, like, surprisingly happy to see how well he performed with him. So, uh, also, his Pete Ryu... Do you want to surprise me? I mean, that work? Fierce. It was good. Yeah. So, so the, here's the thing about when you ran, when you run into, let's call them wacky players, right? Yeah. They're playing either an oddball, like groove, oddball character, or whatever. A lot of times, uh, like great tournament players will basically scale their game back yeah. in order to be like, okay, I need to do like the basics and not try to get too fancy because this guy just picked Pete Geef, Terry Ryu on me. What the hell is he gonna do? Yeah. Like you don't know. What do I do about that? Yeah. Like, I mean, he could just do, like, random level three, you know, Shinku roll, hurricane kick. Roll, hurricane kick super. Yeah, like, yeah, roll, roll, hurricane kick super. Two rolls is the, the, the secret amount. Yeah, that is that is a lot of rolls. Anyway, so, like, uh, and that's actually a lesson for all you tournament players out there. Like, you know, if you're confident in your game and somebody's throwing something that's unconventional, yeah. nothing, like, it may be weird, it may be low tier or whatever, but it has a of being a little bit wild, you have to be careful. Like Tekken players, like you run into the Eddie Gordo. Like, you, you know. run into that one dude who's like, I really like to play Panda. Yeah. Oops, we let him win the tournament. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Um, to be fair, that that's that's a hell of a bird. Yeah, so like, oh, you gotta give no. him some respect. This is him, as we speak. Always a contender for name of the tournament. Name of the tournament, all of Garden. Versus Pat the Flip. He put him in losers last year. 
Algarn did? Yes. Yeah. Not with that team. So we have S Groove. No, where's Honda? No, no. What is happening? That's yeah. Toto. Oh yeah, my God. He, he did Honda. We got S Guile. Man, S we've, we've seen K Guile, C Guile, and now S Guile. A lot of Guile. A lot of Guile. Also, the only C. Nakanishi is the only C player or Roll Groove player we've seen so far. Yeah, pretty much. Nice. So, about to flip with some good adjustments here against S Group, which mostly involved getting his getting all up in that. Oh, no super. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, just heal oh, up. What's he gonna do? Oh, yeah. That could have been a big combo. It just well, wasn't. He was in desperation mode. Yeah, but get a crossfire blitz super. into somersault. Guile's got some actually sick. Uh, level one to level one combo. Oh, that was a stab to the chest, and Guile is dead. Yeah. He just straight up murdered him. It just it's supposed like, to be like a street fight. She just stabbed him yeah. in the heart. Embrace death, dude. Yeah. Mm. All right, here we go, Toto. Yeah. Toto, who has exactly one move and is not afraid to use it. Yeah. He busts in every single configuration he can think of. He I blesses the reins. Yeah. <laughs> I do it upwards, I do it downwards, I do it standing, I do it in the air, I do it from every direction. Let's go. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this Toto experiment is not going that well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He has done it several times. Right, All right. You know what? We got there. All right. This isn't a Toto who, if he grabs you, it's like, oh, here comes the pain. It's nope. S Toto where I guess he's going to spam big yeah. when he gets to the S group. Is that is that a thing? I don't know. I'm about to find oh. out just with you. Oh, we, you and I are learning together right now. We saw the run though. Yeah. <laughs> just big. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's not goodbye. Good. All right, so that is the weakness of dodge for all you home that, that think that maybe that like S Groove is like the number one player in the country or whatever. Dodge is 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 immune, uh, like just hits, but you're always vulnerable to throws. So if you basically jump in and say if you're an S group player that can't uppercut and want to like dodge and then move, um, you could just like jump in and throw them, and that's what Pat the Pat the flip did there. Yeah, he exploited the number yeah. one weakness of S group, which is your throwable. Yeah, you look really cool dodging, but then, uh, but by the way, when you recover, you can block immediately, yeah. which is kind of nice. There's no there's no recovery on dodging. Nope. There is recovery on rolling. They thought that that would be enough. It kind of wasn't. But uh, if people try to strike you, then you're in good shape. If people throw you, though, it's like, Wah. yeah. No, that's not, not gonna work. work. Yeah, you <laughs> ran out, buddy. I don't think it would have worked from full screen. Like if you had the level Heal. three. No, that's good. Oh, okay. should just healed. Yeah. So when you're in a dodge, I think like this, there's 18 frames where you have to be dodging. And then you can cancel the next like seven into a dodge attack. And then after that, there's like four where there's recovery. And then you can yep. go right back into blocking. Yep. So it's pretty effective. There's like rolling does have vulnerable frames, dodging doesn't. Correct. Um, needless to say, but that but dodging and dodge attacks and, and Pat Club takes game one. Dodging and dodge attacks are not bad. They're, They're not, not terrible. There's a lot of characters that are very good ones, like Ryu's Standing Pierce yeah. is a dodge attack, and I do believe it doesn't blow them back. No. So you can super them right after. Yeah. That's nice. So that is not why S Groove is not good. Why S Groove is not good is 100% because of its meter system. Yep. The meter, uh, you have to charge it, and you never hold on to whatever you work towards. Yep. And also, even though when you're on low health, you get desperation supers, uh, it's not enough to overcome the fact that uh, you have to have a desperation, or you have to be in low health to, to ever even do have a access level three. Yeah. Level threes, and level threes in in CBS two are very damaging, very invincible, and they really carry the pace of the game. And really fast. I think yes. I feel like a lot of people forget the speed part. Oh, here's the actual team. Oh, that's Honda. Yeah. Let's go. The strategy usually with Honda is sit in the corner, crouch, yeah, and uh, game time. wait. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much, uh, but in S group, there's a lot of dodging involved. Yeah, I, you know what? I would have liked to see Honda. I think he would have done well against Naka. So, I mean, what's Naka gonna do? Just hold down back. Yep, pretty much. Uh, Pat's flip more than comfortable just doing a lot of sweeps here against them. Ooh, oh, I know he moves a bit blocked. All right. That's punishable. One more hit. That's a lot of charge. There. Oh, that's not a good idea. Actually, it is because he decided not to charge super. 
team, Sonoso. Uh, that's the CBS one uh, mix up there. Sonic Kaboom. Oh, oh, he's easy. Oh, he nice should have just charged and just done super. All right, any super will win. Oh, uh, he heals again. Obamacare real quick. Oh, no. Oh, he went. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Nakuru with universal health insurance. Oh. It's because they're in the UK. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Nakuru is like, I got single payer. What's up? Uh, yeah. What's <laughs> good? Nice headbutts and, and, here for me, Honda, just, actually. Just like in the UK, she did have to wait a little while to get her appointment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it t there's a healing process, but, you know. All right. I actually like Olive Garden as Honda. I think it's silly, but in a good way. Yeah. Oh, he could have just healed right there. He's being really coy about the healing. Oh, he threw Mama oh. instead, which Dodge. is very dodgeable. Yeah. Very good work right now, though, so far from Pat the Flip. I feel like... He came back to this tournament remembering what Olive Garden did the last time, and he was like, nah, not again. Not again. Oh, here we go. Now we got the Queen of Down Fierce. So th the problem with dodging is like, oh. it really, like you, you don't have, you can ignore fireballs, but if they don't actually like make you advance them, it, it doesn't, yeah, see, it doesn't really put you in an advantageous situation here. He needs to charge up a little bit more to get his level three. Yep. You stay kind of in the same spot. There uh, got it's it. still good, but... If he hits it... Oh, she's pretty much... No, he just does it, but it gets him in. Yep. And, you know, that's quite a bit of chip. Oh, man. He, he held that yeah, He was charge. like, let me get that bar. Because uh, one of the other kind of bad things about S group is that if you're low on health, your S charge becomes like Harder. a weird, slower ramp up kind of deal, which is not good. And I don't know if that there was like a designer that decided that was the right thing to do. It, it was a nerf from CBS One, where S group had a lot of gimmicks uh, about it, where you could like like Iori could throw yep. out his wine cup super and yep. then charge while they were going out, and then do it again. Wow, he caught the tail end of that. Yeah. Ooh. All right. So here we go. The classic of CBS2. Blanco versus Scott. Blanco versus Sagat. And so this actually could be any anybody's game. Even though Sagat will get two level threes. Yep. Um, wow, he just let him have it. Okay. Yeah. Throw him across the room. Why not? Oh, goodbye. Oh, uh, that's not good. Oh, he's almost dizzy. Stay, keep the pressure up here. Oh, okay. Oh, he, the dizzy, dizzy hasn't reset yet. It should have reset already. So Blanco no longer in danger of stun, but in danger of getting his ass kicked. Yeah, this has not been good. It's been all forgotten. Nice fierce punch there. Last punishable, uh, and Pat the Flip will take it over Olive Garden. Revenge for last year. Yes. Very good stuff. I mean, it was fun. Yeah. Uh, s Cube is not particularly what I would call like solid Com competitive but it's got stuff yeah i mean i think he was we you know he was just being very gracious like i think he felt like you know when we're here at combo breaker we're family nice yes so but uh, yeah the other thing about this like, sort of s group is that if you there are a lot of really big damage combos in this game like yeah. you know uh paint the fence Show show, or, or even just more of the like uh, geese, deadly rave, or whatever. Yeah. If you hit one of those big combos, you can deny a character ever the ability of even having access to a level three. When pretty much, yeah. Uh, and that is like pretty, pretty, pretty terrible. Like dodge attacks are actually really good. Uh, dodging itself suspect, um, and you know you do have run and low jump. They're okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a good groove, save for the part where it's not good because your meter sucks. Mm -hmm. And not be, having or being able to play around where you don't see a level three ever is kind of booty. Yeah, and you can't like build like you can't like get defeated and be like, oh well, at least I saved up something for the next round. And so that's the thing, by the way, about KOF ninety four and all those other games is that. When you took damage, but specifically when you blocked, uh, you used to get a lot of meter in those games. 
in the quote unquote extra mode. In fact, yeah. one of the best ways to build meter is to simply have good defense in those games. Uh, because you're not expected to have a whole lot of time to think and be able to hold down buttons to charge yeah. meter. You do get meter in S group for blocking and getting hit. Um, but just not that many. Now the weird thing about SNK 94 group is that I would have expected S group to be a dash group. Because 94 and 95 don't have running. Well, I mean, they didn't really get everything accurate. Uh, like, so, like, they gave they gave Seagroove the tactical recovery, which, like, delayed get up was, like, pretty much never a thing in Capcom games. Yeah. And then, uh, and then they didn't give P Groove the super cancel. That, that's, like, that, or EX moves. They did in the Xbox version, and that game is a little broken yeah. because of it. Yeah, it's not good. I wouldn't say P Groove with super cancel is more broken than world canceling. Nothing is more broken than roll canceling, though. Roll canceling is so broken, it in a weird way makes the game kind of playable, but in a weird way, kind of doesn't. Somebody was was talking. There's a Discord of this game, by the way. You yeah. Can, you can search it up. Which uh, I think I'm inexplicably not in because I'm stupid. Yeah. So Sorry. If you join the, there's a Capcom versus us get a two Facebook group. It's linked there as well. Um. So. Something like that. Somebody was talking about it er earlier that they were talking about the phase of CVS2 as a one-button game. Yeah. But and everybody kind of likes to think that that was a long time. But the very first Evo that CBS2 was at, Tokido won with Roll Cancel Honda. Yep. Um, so, you know, the game came out in 2000, uh, fall of 2001, and Roll Cancel was discovered in two th early 2002. And by Evo of that year, somebody had gotten good enough with it in order to, like, basically win the national championship. Yeah, like, do stuff that's super frustrating for other people to do it. Do now, it. it took a long time for it to filter down to, like, kind of, let's call them human players, as opposed to Tegito. Uh, and it took a long time for people to, to devise strategies against it so you can beat, like, what I like to call roll cancel spam, which is, like, roll cancel hands, like, yep. full screen RC Blanca balls, stuff that's not actually good. Yeah, but people are like, Ooh, it's roll cancel. So you can build meter. Yeah. So, and then it also took a while for people in like P and S and or P and K in order to be able to parry your JD enough to be able to count it. Yep. So we got Black Lion Oro versus Nakanichi. So this is his second P groove match in a row. Which is uh that is a thing yeah. that you can talk about here. That ooh, that was good. That was good. I liked it. You tried for some fancy stuff though. Yeah, that's why you play PKO. You get some fancy stuff and some damage. Now, Guile does not like P Groove. He really doesn't. Yeah, all of his anti airs are one hit. Like, his fireball is one hit. Yep. Oh, here we go. Sketchy. Summer Show. Summer Show. Does so much damage. Oh. The, the actual super, you're like, oh, I think I could deal with it. Summer Show. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I because Guile can sit around and throw specials and, and basically follow them in and get blocked, he, he builds meter really fast. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, the backbreaker. Oh, he's. I think, is he, is he on one of those banned hitboxes? He's throwing those sonic booms really fast. Hold on. Get him. Block. Okay, so and he gets a throw. That's yeah. yeah, I think it's like negative three. So. You can throw it. Yeah. If you're like one frame late, you'll, you, can, you can get hit. It was actually positive in CBS One, and they decided to change. Yeah, that. because that sounded like a problem. Yeah, because you could just do level one crossfire blitz all day. I remember that. Oh, stun! That was a lot oh, of damage. Oh, he did. He even did the jump fierce there instead of the jump roundhouse. That's the fancy combo. Yeah, it's, it's nice for fancy people only. Nothing all right. but the fanciest. Let's see how this goes. Chun Ooh, does a super unloads. Chun does pretty well against Sagat yeah. because Sagat can't crouch under spinning bird kick and has to block the whole thing. Not only spinning bird kick, but the secret move. The secret move is towards and forward kick. She does like this little step kick thing. Think like Abel's step kick in SF4. Yeah, I gotcha. She's plus five after it. And she can combo a low strong or a jab. And Sagat can't duck it. Wow. It's nice. Black Lion right now trying to get back into the game with yeah, Chun-Li. But Sagat is oh, Sagat to get his dizzy. Oh, it's a point blank super anything. Yeah. So those are 
And then the third secret about Chun versus Sagat. I'm yeah. a Chun player, so I do this a lot. Okay. The third secret is that um, Sagat's jump roundhouse, Chun can go under it with her low strong. Yeah. And basically, you know, sort of anti trip guard him, combo into super. Yeah, I mean, there's so many things that Chun Li actually has against stuff like. Sagat yeah. that makes it like a tolerable matchup and there's not a lot of characters that can say oh yeah I have a tolerable matchup against Sagat. Sagat's just so overbearingly strong, has huge buttons. So the problem though is like basically he gave her the ability to use her super in the beginning of that round and then she wasn't a threat for the rest of the round. Nope. And that's the problem with Pichun. Pichun right now, nice little sure hop down pierce. Very useful tool to try to like set up mix-ups and stuff. Yep. Oh, whiffs. Oh, oh the, the RC like funky kick to after tell the them stop pushing buttons. Yep. Yeah. Don't punish this. Oh, oh Lord. Hurt. That hurt. Oh, he, he was going to go empty jump low there, but. Uh, but kill, push a button. Yeah, push a button. Nice down medium. This is the CBS2 settling. Nice jumping medium kick. Nice crouching medium kick. Hey, Michael Leonard has taken a, a very big loss into you know a manageable. It's not just that; it's just that the longer that the time goes, yeah, the Ooh. better the loss. The better the loss becomes because that's less likely to get back. He's gonna get nothing. He's gonna go like maybe. Yeah. Right. Oh, there you go. Two pierces. No, not still. even. Oh, that was a very nice. Uh, I mean. He had the punish there, but he just dropped it. But no, he, he like didn't want to use the super and like didn't know what to do without the super is what it was. Uh, can't oh, you just oh, uppercut? Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, this is bad. He's going to die. For that one mistake, he paid so Yeah, for much. not, for like basically sort of chicken about the super. It didn't do it. Sometimes you got to let it rip. Yeah. Or even just like a level, well, he doesn't have a level one. Because it's Pigru. Yeah. Oh, that was it. See, he didn't let that rip either. Trying to be smart about meter management, but he's like so far behind that. Yeah. You want to kill Ken like without using any resources, and he's not yep. been able to do it. Oh, the handshake. Yeah, he's held on to that meter for so long. How you doing, sir? How you doing? Hello. My name is Chun Li. Uh, so. Guile Chun. Guile cannot duck Spinning Birch. Nope. I don't know. I mean, they're just stuffing each other out. Shot Kabit. Shouldn't get beer. Yeah. Burn. Race Burn. Shouldn't Kapoor. It's Shouldn't Kapoor. Like saying kaboom every time. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't Kapoor. Anyway, so much no one wants to hear us talk about that. I mean, that's all that's happening right now. It's pretty yeah. calm. There's a lot of foots being played. You know, they're trying to like Charlie's trying to find the oh. range at which he can get in there. But uh, just every well, now and then, when he thinks he's gotten just in, like just, small errors. Yeah. It, either both of those parries could have been pretty much stand stand medium or low medium into super, but did not do it. Yep. Lots of mediums to get closer. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh, nice. Wow. So I don't know. So he did the low fierce and then kept his charge. And then it was like, if you parry this, I got this after. Yeah, I got a flash kick. So yeah. good luck with that. So Nakanishi looks like he's heating up. I mean, he came to win, man. I hope so. He came he to came win. He came to win. Uh, so between the two tournaments, both Vampire and uh, C like CBS has about 50, Vampire has yeah. over 100. Um, you know, that's a fair amount of, of people. And he's staying on. We're going to get winner's finals of this pool. Yeah, um, and it looks like it's actually Patrick Miller versus Nakanishi. Yeah. Two people that we've seen several matches of so far. Uh-huh. And uh, I don't know that Patrick Miller will stick with the same team that he's been playing this far. By the way, uh, messages from DMV. Magman said, what's up? Oh. <laughs> DMV yeah. loves you. Shout out to DMV. DMV, man. I like, I, I like DMV. 
DMV. Yeah, I mean, you know, this, this tournament would be a lot better with some significant DMV presence. With, I mean, I just need Pat to come here and just uh, standing roundhouse me. Yeah. So like, like he normally does in life. And I don't get why I don't like. Look, how cheap is it to fly from like, the fly like national super, to Chicago? It was super cheap to fly here from like Miami. Yeah. Like we didn't we didn't spend like that much money. I, I figured it would be a lot easier if you were actually slightly you know more level. Yeah. Instead of they, having to fly from like all the way down in Humidityville. And they could have said if they came, they could have said they were in the tournament. The number one U.S. player in the country yeah. dropped out of. Yeah. Yeah. They could have then tried to stake their claim for number one player yeah. of the tournament. Yeah, he could have been afraid of anybody in this bracket. All right. It is what it is. Here we go. Pat the flip versus Nakanishi. Pat the flip switching out Nakaruru for somebody with a slightly better weapon and demeanor. Yeah. I don't know about demeanor, actually. He went top tier. He's kind of a jerk. He took the sand for advice. He said, pick a top tier. Yep. All right. But kept Athena, and that's because of K Athena is pretty good. Nice. Yo, have it back. I don't want it. It goes so fast. Yep, it like speeds up the move that you reflect quite a bit if you do the big reflector. Yeah. The small oh. reflector keeps it roughly the same. The big reflector, because it's a little slower to come out, also gives a fireball back inexplicably. Yo, yo, Patrick Miller from Northern California? He's good, dude. Patrick Miller from Northern California? Yep. What are you doing? No, no, no. No, 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 don't worry about it. All right. Okay, worry about yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? You know what? They traded meters for that, and if you got C Guile's meter, and he has that much health, he's only gonna get like another medium punch back. No, but like he was doing so well. He was, but now he's got. Oh, hello. Yeah. He's like, to hell with your claw. I'm All American. Right. Nice. Putting some pressure on. I want to see some. Medium. So Vega's really good in this position because of that. Yes. Don't throw anything because if I even remotely think that that's a fireball, low I'm jump. Kicking your hands. Yep. Yep. That's my. That's also my has that. Yeah. I love Maya so much, but I think Maya is a better K group character than Vega. In yes, my definitely. opinion. In my opinion. Ah. <laughs> yes, because she has the the threat of supers. Yes. Also, she also has the. Uh, she, I think she has better landing options too. Yep. Oh, that, that, that RC funky kick right oh, there. That oh, that was going a dangerous up. jump, and he didn't have red impact. All of it. Go. That's a lot of damage, Vega. One big problem that Vega has that Mai doesn't have quite as bad, made of toilet paper. Yeah. Soggy toilet paper. Can't. Yeah, okay, Mai yeah. can't lose her fan. Yeah. Also, wild red impact. Yeah. She has infinite fans in there. Yeah. She, she stashes them in a safe place. Yeah. Uh, God forbid you reach for one, you die. <laughs> All right. So I think Pat needs to just like not. Oh uh, well. Okay. Never anyway, mind. yeah. So whatever you were gonna tell him to do is no longer. I thought he was no just gonna play. like run away. Yeah, like let the time run out so that the damage stayed. Yeah. Yeah. Make so the damage more permanent. He's got a little bit of an uphill battle here. Oh, if well. any character can fight this uphill battle, it's definitely K Sagat. Yeah. Who is enormous, does tons of damage. So, Pat doesn't know who that whips. The the stand jab. He knows, but I think he was just. Because if he's standing, it's still combos. Yeah, but why would he be standing? Why not? Oh, okay, goodbye. All right. Yeah, that's oh. the cheap stuff. 2002. Hello. Low jump, low super. That's my grime. <laughs> that is, that that is, is my grime. grime. That is legit. You see me do that constantly. Yeah. Damn so, you, Pat. So one of the things about the Sagat-Sagat matchup is Sagat can't duck his own stand fierce. Correct. And he, is, has a really hard time answering his own jump roundhouse. Yep. So it gets really nutty really quickly. There is a way. You jump back roundhouse. Works. <laughs> works roundhouse versus roundhouse. Yeah, works every time. Okay, so, okay. Now, oh, Nakanishi does have meter stocked up. Oh, standing jabs. No. Misses it up. This could be bad. No, that's Oh, that's, that was that's a safe. great idea to stay with it. Oh, he tries for it again. Not but twice. Once bitten, twice shy. Doesn't go for it. Now the equal life. However, Nakanishi already has level two super. Nice standing fierce for Pat Pat. Nice second one. Oh, gets it low. Oh, oh it's a button. Gets punched. Oh. Patrick Miller so close. Nakanishi sweating it right now. Yeah. Nakanishi oh. needs a breather. Someone yes. get that man a bottle of water. Yeah, it, that, was, that was the closest match we've seen yet. I mean, it's, and it's a great match. It was yeah. a great match. It was a slobber knocker towards the end. Now, so here we go. Patrick Miller going to think about a little bit what he's going to be doing. He's going to pick Espino one more time. A kill. 
Kill is a very good K character that he has available to him. He does play a lot of K Kill. Uh, and I mean, K I think Kyo probably does a little bit better in this matchup, considering. So Kyo does, I think, a little bit better against these characters than maybe a K Vega would. Yeah, I don't, I don't like K Vega. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't dislike him, but I think for the matchups that he has, it is a more solid character with more uh, toughness. But let me, let me be the devil's advocate here. K Vega does really well against Sky. However, I think so does Kyo. I disagree. I, oh, I don't think in the in the traditional way he does very well, but it is definitely a character that uh, very good super there. It is definitely a character that can because if you're at like the right distance and you read the fireball, you can yeah. still do short hop down Pierce, yeah. and that does knock down. But you you have you're playing a dangerous game. It's not like Vega is like oh I saw something bam kick you in the face. Yeah. So um, we're we're just saying it. So. Nakanishi switched his character. Like he didn't start Guile versus Athena because he was a very like not really looking forward to this matchup. Yeah. Um, which you could do. Yeah, you know what the funny thing is is that uh, he could throw a fireball here and uh, oh, oh that was should have been super. Athena could have thrown a fireball here and done uh, behind it the healing super because Guile doesn't have a whole lot of things he can do other than Wait, uh, Athena run at doesn't it. have a healing super. Athena has a healing super. Is that a healing super? That's Nakaruru. I'm pretty sure Athena also has a healing super. Internet, tell me if Athena has a heal super. I feel like both of them have a healing super. I could be wrong. I think you're wrong. She I has feel the, like that's one of the reasons Pat also picks her in that team. No, she has the dive and she has the shining crystal bed. And I think really I think I, I think I might be that tired. Oh, yeah. oh by the uh, way, that's punishable. Yeah, that's punishable. You can't, you can't do that Rekka against Gal. Yeah. You remember when I said I thought that this was a... Uh, yeah, but I thought that he also wasn't going to, like, just let it rip like that against Guile. <laughs> oh, that was oh, really good! That's a lot of damage for no reason! Stay on top of him. Speaking of letting it rip, that was okay, a okay. groove. Get close. Nice. We need some standing uh, close... Uh, close. Uh, is this is this medium kick or roundhouse? It's medium kick, right? What, the, the, the elbow? Yeah, the, like, super deep, here's my forearm. Uh, that's, that's his close fierce. No, 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 the deep... This. Oh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I don't remember anymore. It's been a while since I played kill. Now, just needs to find one little opening. Just make a block some kicks. Fireball's fine. Just don't. There oh, you go. All right. See, Sonic that goal. is that is a if, if Pat's really happy about that result because look, Guile gives Sagat a whole lot of problems. Yep. And so he, he wants to go into Sagat Sagat mode. But now, yeah, Sagat versus Sagat. Oh. Gets one JD, oh. but decides he's gonna push a button afterwards. You can't really do that against Sagat. Right now, stun is no longer an issue. That timer's ticking, you gotta move. That's fine. He's moving. Oh, catching that Pierce. Oh, oh, nice super right there. He does take advantage of a, of a execution error there, I think, from Nakanishi. Uh, oh, that was dangerous. Can't be jumping in on, oh, is that it? That yeah. was just enough to take wow. out Pat and send it to the loser's bracket. I think that means that Nakanishi qualifies. I think that, yeah, I, I believe that is winner's final. Uh, that that was that was good. That was some, some saucy that was, action. Yeah, that was that was some good fun yeah. action. Uh, Sorry, I spilled some water uh, all over the place here. Oh yeah, I mean, I so, got some on me, but you know. I think I think because like they use this like this eco plastic or whatever, and the structural integrity is suspect. Yeah, but you know what? I I solved that by uh by uh, this new technological advancement called the the cap. Oh. And what that does is that it prevents the liquids inside of the bottle. <laughs> Man, this is family, family uh, stream. Otherwise, you're not, you're, you would be telling me to go uh, fly a kite. Yeah, fly a kite. So fly several kites. That yeah. was the last winners match. We're gonna cut to a seven-minute break. All right, so we are gonna go to a break right now. Um, we're gonna bring you back some uh, do or die CBS2 action after that, where everybody.